So welcome back guys. Today we'll talk about LCP, which is largest contentful paint matrix provided by Google PageSpeed. When you test your website, you see this error on your website. And this is not directly related to the speed, but for user experience and how well your website is presented to the user. And I think this is really important metrics. So in this video, I'm going to explain you what is LCP, how you can identify LCP on your website and how to solve it. And this will be the first video in core web vital series for Google PageSpeed inside. So make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel so that you will be notified when I create more videos in this core web vital series. And when you subscribe to the channel, it makes me understand that you guys are liking my useful videos, which take a lot of time to create. If you subscribe, I really appreciate it. Okay, so let's see what is LCP. So largest contentful paint LCP matrix reports the render time of the largest image or text block visible within the viewport. If you see my website, this is how it looks on mobile devices, because in most of the cases, you will see this error for mobile devices very badly. In desktop, in most of the cases, your LCP will be fine, but in mobile, you will face this problem majorly. If you see this big image here, this image defines the LCP of my website. Everything will make sense. I will explain you how I came to know that this image is making the LCP bad. But before that, let's see what is a good LCP score. So by Google standards, this main image in my case should load less than 2.5 seconds. And not just image, now the question which elements are considered for LCP matrix. So images, text, background images, videos, they are the elements on base of their loading, Google counts LCP score. Okay, now let's see how you can identify LCP on your website. So there's a real nice blog Google wrote about it. I will put the link in description. You can go and check the blog. So you can see here, this is how your website loads. You can see this is the only viewport. Everything below in the first viewport will not be accountable for LCP. So you can see here for the text loads here, and then there's bigger text loads. But later when website load completely, this is the biggest part on the website. This is the big image. So now how fast this image load gonna define your LCP score. Not this text, not this text, not this text, nothing else on the page because this is the biggest single element on your first viewport. So how fast it loaded, it's going to define your LCP score. So if you don't have big image on your website, you have some big text like this, like a paragraph, H1, H2 heading, which is biggest in size in the first viewport. So loading of that element is going to define LCP score of your website. Just check right now, which is the biggest element on your website. And if you cannot find out, just comment down below the video with your website URL. I'm going to tell you which element is responsible for LCP on your website. Okay, so now we understand what is LCP and how we can define this on your website. Let's see how we can fix it. So as per Google, LCP is primarily affected by four factors, which is slow server response time. I created a video about it. I'll put the link in the description how you can improve your server response time. Second, rendering blocking JS and CSS files. So make sure you're minifying them and you're loading them in different manner or asynchronous manner, so they're not blocking the page view. So the content on your page is loading faster. Third thing, resource load time. So this one is interesting. I think this one gonna help most of you guys. So for example, this is my website. You can see here, I'm using this big background image. I think in most of your cases, the image we're gonna define LCP on your website. So what we do, most of the time, we lazy load our images on website. So make sure the first big image on your website, you're not lazy loading it. In every speed optimization plugin, if you're using Lightspeed Cache, W3 Total Cache, or any other plugin, or just a plugin for lazy load like Smush or EWW Optimizer, make sure you exclude this big image on your website. If the biggest element on your website is text, then you don't need to worry about lazy load. You can keep it like that. Second thing, make sure you're using web images. I created a video about it because they're really small in size and they load faster. Another thing, you can use a CDN to load your images on your website very fast. And the LCP is really important matrix. I hope you get idea about how you can identify LCP on your website and how we can solve it. If you still don't get it, just comment down below the video. I'm going to help you. And guys, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. That's an indicator that you're liking my videos and appreciating my efforts. And I'll be posting more videos in Core Web Vital series very soon. So make sure you turn on the notification also.